All right, I am here at 15240 North 142nd Avenue, and I'm looking at units 1029 and 1028. They're adjacent units. We're gonna start with 1028, which is a little bit farther back. You can see they're in this kind of um, cul-de-sac area here. Um, there's a barbecue area and then some desert landscaping that separates it from the next grouping of units. 1028. We've got a little courtyard entrance. Sorry about that. Um, it's a gated entrance, as you can see. And it opens into just a little, you know, small courtyard area off of the kitchen dining room. So you care. So going into the property, this uh, property has 1,493 square feet, three bedrooms, three baths with a two car garage. And when you walk into the downstairs living room area, you're walking into a living room, and then we've got a dining area here, and that opens out into that courtyard that we just saw. And you can see it's got sort of the, it's not the gold tone stuff, it's a little bit better than the gold tone stuff for, for uh, light fixtures. And here a little closer, you can see it's got the stainless steel sink, it's a laminate countertop, but it's kind of a faux granite look. And the cabinets are, I think it's kind of like a, it's a maple cabinet with a spiced maple finish. I think that's what it's called. It's a medium brown. Black appliances, an island in the middle of the kitchen. And it does come with refrigerator. It also comes with a washer dryer. We'll see that when we go upstairs. So that door goes out to the garage. And then there's a little pantry right here over into the living room area. So there's got some nice windows that look out over to that green belt area that surrounds the property. Not such a fancy uh, ceiling fan there, kind of basic. It does also have a sprinkler system, built-in sprinkler system there. Now, if you come down the hallway, there is one of the bedrooms. It's got a Three quarters bath, so you've got a shower here, shower, and then a little window that goes outside, and a single sink with that same uh, finished uh, cabinetry. More windows overlooking that green belt, and then a walk in closet, which is nice. You get a little extra storage here with the walk in closet. All right, I'm upstairs now, so we're going to have two more bedrooms. Uh, here's a kind of look at the carpeting. It looks fairly new. These units were built in 2006, and this really looks like it hasn't hardly been worn at all. I'm looking at probably about an 11 by 11, 10 by 11 room. And a slider closet, just a standard six foot closet there. This faces the west. This bedroom has a the west facing window. Um, there you can see we've got some silver tone door hardware and raised panel doors. Bathroom again, not, not much light because there's no electricity on, but you can get a pretty good look there. What this bathroom looks like, it's a single sink and then a com combo tub shower. Laundry room, and it's actually really nice. It's got washer dryer. They look fairly new. Um, some extra storage space there and then some cabinetry with a nice area that you could work, you know, fold your clothes and things like that. See? Uh, just guesstimating something like that 13 by 15 maybe but definitely bigger than the other bedrooms we got the same like way basic ceiling fan and another sprinkler head right there west facing window and it's you know a fairly warm day and you can feel you can feel that it's a little bit hotter but it's a dual pane window so that's going to help with the the heat factor and then here's the master bedroom bathroom. Double sinks, three quarters bath with a full walk-in shower. You can see there, toilets in this room. And then right across on the other side is the closet. And it's, you know, it's fairly decent sized, actually. All right, now I'm at unit 1029, which is the same floor plan. This unit is located closer to the, you know, the street for the neighborhood. So coming on in, we've got the same iron fence with a little courtyard area. So that's very much the same. 
The color scheme in this 1029 is a little bit different than in 1028. Um, neutral tones, but you can see the carpet is uh, a little lighter. It's showing a little dirt and wear. It's more of a frise style. And I forget what you call that, the kind that's all just, uh, t it's a uh, plush or pile, I don't know, just the regular stuff that you get. That's what they have in the other property. And uh, the blinds are a little more of an off-white color. And then the tile in here is a little darker. Otherwise, they're very, very similar. A little lacking in light, but you can see the countertops here are more of a copper tone. The others were a little less reddish. And we've got white appliances in here. So a little bit different color scheme, but otherwise very much the same. Same island, cook, island kitchen. Comes with the refrigerator. The cabinetry in here is more of a natural maple color. Pantry, got there. And I did not check out the garage in 1028, but I'm gonna go ahead and check it out here just so you can get a peek. It's a two car garage. And it's got the glass lights in the door, garage door opener. And it's actually a little bit larger than a two car. It's got this little bump out here. So there's a little extra storage space, but otherwise, you know, a very basic garage. Two car garage. And the green belt. So coming around, it's got the same red door, the same bump out for the entertainment center. And then we can come down the hallway. There's the first of the three bathrooms. This is a three quarters bath. So you've got the walk-in shower and single sink with the natural pine, no, I'm sorry, natural maple cabinetry. And then here's the other bedroom, walk-in closet, like so. And again, I, sh I should measure these off, but I'm, I'm eyeballing them and it's about 10 by 11 rooms, uh, 11 by 11, more probably 11 by 11. View out to the street out there. We're going to go over here to the second bedroom. And it's got the very similar layout. Blinds, the um, two inch faux wood blinds. And the frise carpet. It looks pretty good in here. Kind of smells like they might have cleaned it a little bit. Um, so it doesn't look too bad upstairs. It's just downstairs. It's a little worn where their furniture was. Here's the second bathroom, single sink, toilet. Yeah, I hope this shows up in the with the dark lighting, but combo tub shower. So there, the master. Very similar. Again, we have west-facing windows, so it's really bright right now. It's, uh, I think it's maybe about five o'clock. But again, it's dual pane windows, so you're gonna get some heat. I think you're definitely gonna wanna get some solar screens for those windows. Um, but if you're not here in the summer, then it's probably not as much of an issue. So it's got the natural maple cabinetry. Double sinks and three quarters bath with a walk in shower. Toilet. It seems like this, this house seems a little dirtier to me, but nothing terrible. I mean, it just really needs to have, you can see like there's a lot of dust right there. So it just needs to have somebody come in and give it a good thorough cleaning. The other one seemed a little. All right, one more critical piece of information. There's where 1029 and 20, 1028 are. So where's the pool area? And I'm just right across the way. And if you walk down this little sidewalk here, you can see there's the pool area down the way. Everything there. And then a lovely pool area. That's really pretty. It's got the, the waterfall and a couple of areas for seating. So it's, it's pretty nice. All right, here's a little better view. I think there's the jacuzzi. And there's another shot of the clubhouse. Get a little close up there. And there's the pool area. You get a, kind of an idea of the size of it. And it's really nice. So that's the pool.